everybody. How you doing? Last Outrider here with part one of what, or two, of what I'm going to be calling Original Chaos. Uh, there's really no other way to call it because these are the original warp creatures. They aren't demons, but obviously in the future, uh, they're going to become chaos. So let's look at the first one that they present called an astral hound. Astral hounds resemble large, dark, shadowy dogs. They are carnivorous and extremely predatory, but are not intelligent. Brute instinct allows them to track the psychic aura of their play through warp space. Although hounds can track the psychic aura of any creature with psychic abilities, the strongest and most attractive scent is that of the unprotected human psyker. So strong is their compulsion to seek out the source of this aura that the astral hound is the single most dangerous foe of the emergent psyker. Did you hear that? In 1st edition 40k, the most dangerous opponent of an unprotected psyker is an astral hound, which can track their aura uh, apparently through the warp <laughs> um, and then pop in out and eat them. Yes, dogs. So strong is their compulsion to seek out the source of this or that the uh, I'm sorry, uh, they use the psychers own powers to take the form within the material universe. The astral hounds attack with a numbing bite paralyzing their victim. Once helpless, the unfortunate victims are taken back into warp space where the hounds feed upon their warp energy, their psychic energy. The poor psyker simply disappears, confounding friends and neighbors. Astral hounds are ferocious combat opponents and are capable of making short warp space jumps of several meters suddenly appearing beside or behind their enemy. And if you're interested, astral hounds have a movement of six, a weapon skill of four, zero ballistic skill, four strength, four toughness, one wounds, five initiative, two attacks, a leadership of nine, an intelligence of three, a willpower of nine. Oh, you don't know about those stats? Uh, yeah, that's because they're gone now. <clears throat> Astral hounds hunt in packs of one to six animals. For a pack to manifest itself within the material universe, the GM or controlling player rolls 2d6 and compares the score with the psyker's willpower characteristic. If the score is more than the WP, the hounds materialize. If not, the, the psyker resists their intrusion, and the hounds will try again in the following turn. That's every turn. So basically, eventually, they're going to eat your face one way or another. I mean, uh, now, I, no, that's not a leadership check. That's a, that's a willpower check. Once in the material universe, the hounds appear within a d6 plus 4 inches of their prey and attack it as a pack equivalent to a unit. In combat, any hits from an astral hound cause paralysis unless the standard armor saving rule is made. Once disabled, the, vic the victim can be removed to warp space along with its attacking hound. If there are then no psychers, unprotected or otherwise, within a hundred meters of the entire pack, returns to warp space to share in the feast. Psychers within 100 meters will be attacked as before, the hunt continuing anew. Astral hounds have the ability to shift themselves momentarily via warp space. The controlling player nominates his aiming point anywhere within 12 inches of the hound's current position. 
the hound will land within a d6 minus 2 inches of this position. Hounds not landing bang on target are positioned randomly at the specified distance from it. <laughs> there you go. That's the first of your demons that we're going to go over. Next, we're going to talk about the Astral Spectre. Until then, bye. Mm -hmm.